Qatar pledges a massive $50 million to help with humanitarian efforts in Sudan. Qatar condemns a horrific Israeli raid on a refugee camp in Jenin. Nine people are arrested for operating fake companies here in Doha. And finally, a friendly match between Qatar and New Zealand is cut short over allegations of racism. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar has pledged $50 million to support the United Nations humanitarian response for Sudan during a donor conference in Geneva on Monday. The latest developments come more than two months into Sudan's deadliest conflict in years in which more than 1,500 people have been killed. At least 318 tons of aid have already been delivered to Sudan and more than 1,784 people have been airlifted to safety. Qatar has condemned a quote provocative large-scale Israeli raid targeting a Jenin refugee camp on Monday where occupation forces killed at least five Palestinians including a 15-year-old. The statement said Qatar considers the latest attack quote a new episode in the chain of horrific occupation crimes against the defenseless Palestinian people especially women and children and now nine individuals have been arrested in connection with a visa fraud scheme that has targeted dozens of people the interior ministry confirmed the suspects all of Arab and Asian descent have been implicated in the establishment of the bogus firms designed specifically for visa trading the suspects allegedly duped local residents by promising quote profitable returns via their sham company they now face legal measures. And in sports, Qatar's Al Annabi football team was left bewildered after New Zealand abandoned a friendly match over allegations that a Qatari player allegedly racially abused his opponent during the game. A video that appeared online showed a heated discussion between Qatar's Yusuf Abdirazak and New Zealand's Michael Boxall. The video, however, does not show that any racist action or word was said. Speaking to the media after the incident, Qatar team manager Carlos Kiroz said he asked the coach and referees but nobody heard what was said. Kiro says the team is standing behind their teammate but has called for an investigation by FIFA. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.